So if you're asked to graph the equation 2x minus 3y equals 6, you could use a table of values, put values in for x, figure out what you get for y, and then you could graph those. And that would give you the line for 2x minus 3y equals 6. Probably a better way to do this is to actually use slope-intercept formula to figure it out. That way we could find the y-intercept for 2x minus 3y equals 6 for this line, and we can find the slope as well. So let's do that. What we need to do is get y by itself and then everything over here in this form. So why don't we take and subtract 2x from both sides? That'll give us, and then let's put x first and then the 6 after it. So we're getting close to slope-intercept formula. We have x, then we have our y-intercept here. We have this negative 3, so let's divide both sides by negative 3. And we could put this as negative 2x over 3 and then 6 over negative 3. That'd be the same thing. So now these cancel out. So now we have negative 2 over negative 3. We can just call that 2 thirds because we have the negative on the top and the bottom. 2 thirds x minus 2 because 6 divided by negative 3 is 2. And now we have slope intercept formula and it's really pretty easy to graph at this point. So b, the y-intercept, that's negative 2. So we'll go down here, and that's where the line is going to cross the y-axis. That's the y-intercept. Then the slope is 2 over 3. So we'll go to the y-intercept, go up 1, 2, and go over 1, 2, 3. Rise over run. Do it again. Go up 1, 2, over 1, 2, 3. And you can see we have our line here. We could also go in the opposite direction. We could go down 1, 2, and over 1, 2, 3 in the opposite direction. And you can see this is the line for the graph 2x minus 3y equals 6. Let's put a line through this. And then arrows so we can show it goes to infinity. So the key really is rearranging this equation so we have slope-intercept formula. And then we've got rise over run for the slope and then the y-intercept. You could also use a table of values, and if you need help with that, there's a link at the end of this video. This is Dr. B solving the equation 2x minus 3y equals 6, solving that for y, and then using slope-intercept formula to graph it. Thanks for watching.